Hello friends, good morning. In my previous lecture, I had explained the generation of high AC voltage by cascaded transformers. In this video lecture, I am going to explain generation of high AC voltage by cascaded transformers with isolation transformers. In the previous lecture, I had explained the generation of AC high voltage by cascaded transformer and its drawbacks. Now let us look at the drawbacks of cascaded transformers. The first drawback was the lower stages of the primaries of the transformers are loaded more as compared with the upper stages. The reason is the first stage is supplying the excitation for the second stage as well as third stage. Therefore, the first stage is loaded more as compared to second stage and third stage is not loaded. The second drawback is large excitation current is required. The reason is all the excitation current is supplied by the first stage. Second stage as well as third stage require the excitation current and all the stages are fed through the primary stage, first stage. Therefore, the excitation current requirement is more. Now, to overcome these drawbacks, we are using cascaded transformers with isolation transformer. Now, let us see how is this scheme that is cascaded transformer with isolation transformer. This is the circuit diagram. Here T1, T2 and T3 are the cascaded transformer units T1, T2 and T3. They are same as the previous scheme that is cascaded transformers. In addition to these cascaded transformers, there are three isolation transformers. Isolation transformer 1, isolation transformer 2 and isolation transformer 3. One is primary winding, two is secondary that is high voltage winding and three is excitation winding. So these are the excitation winding. Now here you can see this is the primary voltage or primary winding of first cascaded first stage of the cascaded transformer. The same input is given to isolation transformers. You can see here it is isolation transformer number one. Same input is given isolation transformer number two. Same input is given it is isolation transformer number 3, same input is given. Isolation transformers have voltage ratio of 1 is to 1. So, whatever is the input voltage to primary winding, same is the output voltage of the secondary winding that acts as the excitation winding for the second stage as well as for the third stage. So, for the second stage and third stage, same primary voltage is given, but it is not fed through the same transformer T1, first stage of the cascaded transformer. Therefore, the previous drawbacks of large excitation requirement from the same unit and loading of the first unit is avoided. Now, this second stage is kept at potential V2. That is the output voltage of the first stage. You can see here the output terminal of the second stage is connected to the body of the second transformer or second cascaded unit. This second unit or second cascaded transformer is kept on the insulator. Therefore, it is isolated from the ground and it is kept at the potential V2. In the same way, the third unit that is T3 is, is also kept on the insulator and output of the second stage is connected to the body of this third transformer. Therefore, this third stage or third unit is at potential twice V2 with respect to the ground. So, output here we get twice V2 with respect to ground and output here we get 3 V2 with respect to the ground. So, this is how the cascaded transformers with isolation transformers are there. Here I am repeating the salient features which I had explained with respect to the diagram. Number 1, isolating transformers I IS1, IS2 and IS3 are having transformation ratio of 1 is to 1 and they have identical characteristics. Second, they supply the excitation for the second and third stages. Number three, power supply to the isolation transformers is fed from the same AC input. Number four, the first transformer is at the ground potential along with its tank. Next, the high voltage winding of the first unit is connected to the tank of the second unit. The second transformer is kept on insulator and maintained at a potential of V2 above the ground because the output winding, output voltage 
output terminal of the first unit is connected to the body of the second unit. Therefore, it is maintained at a potential of V2 above the ground. The low voltage winding of the second unit is supplied from the secondary winding of the isolation transformer. In a similar manner, in the similar manner, the third transformer is kept on insulators above the ground at a potential of twice V2 and is supplied from the isolation transformer. The high voltage connection from all the units are taken through bushings. Silent features continued. The number of stages in this type of arrangement also are usually three to facilitate a three phase operation so that root three V2 can be obtained between the lines that is line voltage. Also with three units three phase connection in delta or star is possible for three units. The rating of the primary that is low voltage winding is usually 230 volts or 400 volts for small units up to 100 kVA and for larger outputs the rating of the low voltage windings may be 3.3 kV, 6.6 kV or 11 kV. Testing transformers are rating up to 10 MVA in cascaded connection to give high voltage up to 2.25 MV megavolt are available for both indoor and outdoor applications. It means for single unit the output voltage is 750 kV. So 750 kV plus 750 kV plus 750 kV that gives, uh, gives the voltage of 2.25 megavolt. Now let us see the advantages. The first advantage is natural cooling is sufficient. Second advantage individual units that is transformers are light and compact. Number three transportation and assembly is easy. Number four, the construction is identical for isolation transformers and the high voltage cascaded units. Now let us see what are the drawbacks. Number one, the scheme is expensive. The scheme is expensive because we need separate isolation transformers. Number two, it requires more space because along with cascaded transformers, we require the isolation transformers. Therefore, it requires more space. Now important note on high voltage testing transformers. This include single unit cascaded transformers as well as cascaded transformers with isolation transformers. Number one, large testing transformers rated for more than one MBA at one megavolt are nowadays designed for outdoor use only. Number two, units are enclosed by large size metal rings to prevent corona and are terminated with spherical electrodes. The reason is this large size, size metal rings as well as electrical uh, as well as spherical electrodes avoid the corona. Otherwise there will be considerable corona power loss. Number three, these transformers are built to withstand transients during the flashover of the test object. Now why these transients are appear? The test object is capacitive in nature, whereas the transformer winding is inductive in nature. So due to LC circuit, whenever the flashover takes place, the transients are developed in the winding. So the windings must be capable of withstanding these transients. So the transformers are built to withstand transients during the flashover of the test object. Next is Care is taken to ensure that steady state voltage distribution within the cascaded unit is uniform. Otherwise, some part of the winding insulation will feel or will undergo large voltage stress as compared to the other part. Therefore, steady state voltage distribution is necessary. Next is reactive compensation may be provided for excessive load currents of capacitive nature. Now, what is the reason? The reason is the test objects are capacitive in nature. Therefore, they develop the reactive power. They generate the reactive power. Therefore, this reactive power needs to be compensated. Therefore, the reactive compensation is provided for excessive load currents of capacitive, capacitive nature. Last is, cascade transformers are very expensive and are difficult to repair. Therefore, it is necessary to limit the high short circuit currents by using limiting reactors in the input stage. If they are damaged, it is very difficult to repair them and as they are expensive, so we have to avoid the damage to the transformers. Friends, if you feel 
this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel for upcoming video lectures on high voltage engineering and power system protection if you want to make efficient and effective use of your time then read my book on time management this is the link for the book the link is also given in the description box i have launched a useful course for the students on udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever this is a course to boost your brain power and program the mind for success now this course comes with 30 day money back guarantee full time full lifetime access and on demand 5.5 hours video lectures this course is very useful for the students who are preparing for entrance as well as competitive exams this is the link for the course the link is also given in the description box thank you